Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to answer the question that uh, um, I've had a couple of people ask me recently, which is how do you build a blog audience? How do you, you know, how do you build up an audience of people either on your blog or on, a, um, on YouTube or on Facebook? Um, you know, when you're producing content that's educational, inspirational, that kind of stuff, uh, how do you do that when it seems like, it seems like the types of content that people are sharing on these social media sites or the types of videos that everyone seems to be uploading to YouTube nowadays is just, you know, um, stupid stuff, right? Like, uh, cats doing stupid stuff or dogs doing stupid stuff, right? Or, you know, people doing pranks and stuff like that. Or, um, or actually the most recently there's been a ton of videos that I've noticed been uploaded to YouTube in the last few years of just kids playing video games, right? And doing a screen footage um, or screen captures of what their, you know, their video gaming screens. And they're basically just playing these video games for like an hour or two and they record it and they upload it to YouTube, right? And these channels are getting tons of subscribers and things like that, right? So how do you compete with that, right? Like you look at it and go, man, this stuff seems ridiculous like why are people subscribing to this why does this channel have like 200,000 subscribers and why does this video of a kid playing a video game have like you know 80 comments or 150 comments and and I upload this video that you know I think is is, is very valuable and it's inspirational maybe I'm teaching something uh in the video that you know it's fairly profound or whatever and I get like one comment or whatever you know if that's kind of what you've been thinking about or or, or how you've been feeling Here's the answer to that question, okay? The difference between uh, those channels, right? Like if you look at a, a kid who um, uploads video game footage, right? And they're getting tons and tons of um, subscribers on their channel and they're getting comments on all their videos, right? You look at it and they have like 200,000 subscribers or whatever. The reason why those channels are successful is it's not so much the fact that their videos are, you know amazing right because it's like i said a lot of them it's just them playing video games right the reason why they're successful is because they're consistently uploading a video on a daily basis right or maybe three to five times a week they're consistently producing content and putting it up there right um, when you're building an audience that's what people want is they want consistent content produced on a regular basis right and with a lot of these kids what they do is they come home right from school they do their homework and they turn on their computer and um, they start playing video games like they like we all did when we were kids, right? And except now what they're doing is they're just recording themselves playing those video games. They're going to be playing the game for an hour anyway, so why not record it and upload it to YouTube, right? And because they do this on a regular basis, usually like every single day, right? They might as well record it and upload it to YouTube. And what that does is because of their consistency, because of the consistency that they produce their content with, that's what makes them successful. That's why you see these channels with these kids have like 200,000 view uh, subscribers or like 50,000 subscribers or even like 10,000 subscribers, right? Meanwhile, let's say that you produce a video, um, you know, something that you think is educational, inspirational, that's, you know, um, maybe took you like three or four hours to research something and then you recorded a video to, uh, you know, to teach something to somebody and you upload it to YouTube and you get like, I don't know, two subscribers and like one comment and then you're feeling like, what the heck? I don't understand. Like my video is amazing and, you know, these kids playing video games, I mean, how it's just a kid playing a video game and they got like 150 comments and they got all these subscribers. The difference is not that those kids' uh, content is, is better, right? I mean, uh, it, it's a different type of style of content. The difference between um, what they're doing and what uh, you're doing is that they're staying consistent, okay? It's the consistency that makes it um, makes you successful online, okay? So if you blog on a daily basis or let's say five times a week or something like that um, on a regular schedule, people start to follow you. They, you start to build up a consistency um, in your followers as well, right? Because that's what people want. And that's what makes it, makes the process successful is that, you know, consistency every single day or five times a week, right? Now, let's say that those kids are doing, I don't know, seven, uh, videos a week, right? So one video every single day, and they do this for like two years, right? So they got like 700 videos up on YouTube after a couple of years, right? And they got like 200,000 subscribers. They got like 50,000 subscribers. And you're looking at it and going, wow, I don't get it. Like, why would people subscribe to this? Why is there so much of that going on? Um, 
you know, and I upload a video and it doesn't even really, it seems like nobody's engaging with it. Well, the thing is, is that if you did what they did, which is to create a video every single day, right? And it was inspirational and educational and whatever topic that it is that you're, you know, you feel passionate about sharing. If you did that for uh, two years, every single day, right? Or five times a week or whatever your schedule is. If you did it consistently and you uploaded 700 videos to YouTube like that, right? On a consistent basis, your channel would be 10 times or 50 times or 100 times or 1,000 times more successful than their channel, right? What makes them successful is their consistency, not the content, right? I mean, there's nothing wrong with their content either. I mean, it's, it's a different type of content. It's, it's meant as entertainment or humor or whatever it is. Um, whereas if you're a blogger who enjoys blogging about, you know, stuff that you're teaching something or, or sharing some, you know, uh, words of wisdom with somebody or whatever... Um, you might be producing more higher quality content, but you're just not producing enough of it. That's the difference, right? So how do you build up an audience online? You have to have consistency. Um, basically, since the beginning of this year, January 1st, uh, I mean, I've been a blogger for about eight years, almost nine years now. Um, it'll be nine years next month, but I've never been consistent until January 1st of this year. And I've been writing a blog post every single day or producing a video every single day um, since January 1st of 2015. And I've been completely blown away by how quickly my traffic is growing on my blog, how fast my audience is growing, um, and how much engagement I'm getting on my blog. And it's only been about 60 something days, um, since I've been doing this. So I highly, highly encourage you to, you know, put together a schedule where you can stay consistent with your content, whether it's on a daily basis or let's say five times a week or whatever, or three to five times a week, whatever it is, create a schedule and stay consistent. And don't worry in the beginning, don't worry about, you know, if your content is not getting a lot of engagement, it might take you a while to kind of build up an audience. And even if your videos or your blog posts are not getting a lot of, um, engagement in the beginning, over time, you'll build up your audience and that audience will go back in time and they'll read your old blog posts. Okay. So you might not get, you might not get a lot of, um, you know, engagement on your blog posts today, but that same blog post will still be there tomorrow and the day, day after and a month after and a year after and five years. I, you know, I have blog posts that I wrote, written in like 2007 or 2008 and they're still getting traffic today. Right. So, um, just keep that in mind. All right. So I hope that answers that question and, um, you know, stay consistent, keep at it. Don't worry about it. Over time, people will start to follow and, and engage with your content and, you know, you will produce results much faster than people who are producing content that, you know, you might consider, um, kind of, you know, silly or stupid that you're like, well, this is, this is junk. I don't understand why people are getting so many, uh, uh, comments on this type of stuff when I'm producing higher quality content you will become more successful than them. It's just they, what they have on you is, is uh, consistency, right? They've produced five or 600 videos. You've produced one or two or three or 10 videos, right? Just keep at it and you will become successful. All right. I hope that um, answers that question and I will see you guys in the uh, next video.